First, we have some breaking news on this Tuesday night out of Fall River. A melon mess. Route 79 South shut down right now as crews work to clean up this. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Those are watermelons you see all over the road. A truck rolled over earlier tonight, spilling its cargo, and crews tell us it's going to be a long night. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish has been tracking that cleanup and how it's impacting traffic and has an update for us now. Kayla? Hey, Mike and Shannon. Well, uh, I can tell you right now that all lanes of 79 South here in Fall River remain closed as they have been for hours now. And this is why. I mean, check this out. A tractor trailer tipped over, spilling an entire load of watermelons onto the highway. This all happened before 730 this evening. And uh, if you were following us over on Fox Providence, when I last spoke with you about 30 minutes ago, this truck was still on its side. In the last 30 minutes. Crews have worked to right this vehicle, bring it onto its wheels, and you can see what remains of this tractor trailer. Not much, to be honest. And you can see some of the melons still in the back of this vehicle. Just imagine uh, how full this had to have been to spill hundreds, if not thousands, of these pieces of fruit all over the highway here, causing this headache that crews have been dealing with for hours now. To give you an idea of where this happened, we're standing above Route 79 on North Main Street in Fall River. A mix of smashed fruit and mangled metal from the guardrails and uh, the remnants of the tractor trailer had filled the roadway here, 79 South. That's what crews have been working really around the clock here to try to clean up to get the roadway back open. As for the driver of this vehicle, fire officials tell 12 News that person was already out of the truck and complaining of leg pain when they arrived, so he was taken to a local hospital to be checked out. At this hour, it's really unclear what caused this crash in the first place. This is a curved section of the highway, so maybe that had something to do with it. It's possible speed also had something to do with this crash. Of course, these are all things that those investigating this incident will be looking at to try to determine again what caused this crash. We've seen mass DOT, local fire officials, and state police here at the scene tonight. I did reach out to state police who are overseeing this cleanup. They didn't have an exact estimate for when the road might fully reopen, although now that the truck has been lifted up, hopefully it can be towed away from the scene in a short time. The rest of the melons and mangled metal all cleaned up here. You can see on this side of the highway 79 North, there is one lane that's open. But again, as I've been mentioning, 79 South remains closed here in Fall River. So we will keep an eye on the conditions here for you and bring you an update as soon as we get one both on air and on WPRI.com as well as our social media channels. That's the latest live in Fall River tonight. I'm Kayla. Fish 12 News.